Hello. This is day 18 of our New Testament passage. And there's a number of parables here. Uh, the most well known is the first one. Uh, the sower sowing seed in different places. And Jesus did much of his teaching in parables. And we get a clue as to why he taught in parables. Uh, because he wanted those who were seekers, those who were hungry, those who were thirsty, those who were going to inquire to understand the secrets of the kingdom. The secrets of the kingdom of God are not for those who are just uh, going to sit in judgment over the kingdom and sit in judgment over God and, and who don't really care. And uh, he wanted to tease out truths. I, I want to look at one parable which is not the most obvious one. There's this little one. And he says the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. The smallest of all seeds. It's tiny and it's planted in the ground. But this tiny, tiny seed that you can hardly see with the naked eye. In time, it will grow to be a, a tall plant, a big tree. And even the birds will nest in the tree. And he was saying, this is what the kingdom of God is like. And I believe what he's saying in this is, do not despise the day of small things. Do not despise the little things. In our culture, in our world, uh, the bigger, the better. Uh, the more numbers you have, the more people you attract, the more money you have, the more famous you are, the better. And yet, the king of the universe was born as a tiny little baby in a very little town called Bethlehem. He lived an obscure life while he was on earth. He never travelled more than a few miles from his birthplace. He died literally a few miles from his birthplace. Jerusalem is very near Bethlehem. He didn't write a book. He didn't uh, have a DVD series. He didn't have articles written about him. Not while he was alive. And yet, this one obscure life is changing the world and becomes the central character of human history. A small seed that's buried in the ground, a small seed becomes a vast tree. And that is true of our lives. We can feel, what do we have? What are we? I'm just nothing. I'm just very small. I have a little faith. I don't have much faith. I don't have much to offer. I don't have many giftings. God delights in using the smallest of seeds and by his power he takes the little that we offer and in the kingdom of God he turns it into something magnificent that others can nest in. That's the story of today.